Okay, so Crackdown 2, obviously sequel to Crackdown. Um, it's really uh, a sort of intensely over the top uh, kind of core action game. Um, it's about blowing stuff up, it's about having fun. Uh, it's a very cooperative game. You know, it's a single player campaign, it's also four player co op, same experience for four players. It's really uh, kind of like, you know, a very simple mechanic. It's a, it, it's, it's a shoot things, kill things, uh, have fun doing it, you know, and have fun with your friends. What we're showing today at X10 is uh, kind of more of the kind of like campaign game. We've shown multiplayer previously, and, uh, you know, what we're talking about now is something called Project Sunburst, which is actually like kind of like the primary objective of the entire game. It is the, the assembly of a giant energy weapon to destroy the freaks that have infested Pacific City once and for all. And that plays a, a really key part of the entire mission structure of Crackdown 2. The city is infected. You are the cure. What we wanted to try and do with the freaks in Crackdown 2 was like really add a load of variety into the world. You know, one of the things we wanted to try and solve is the fact that in Crackdown you're always fighting against the same site, same type of enemy. There were gang members. It was a very samey experience. So with Crackdown 2, you know, you've got you kind of got that gang structure with the cell as a terrorist group, but you've also got the freaks, and they they, they have like intense variety from your base level scroungers, which are just like cannon fodder, and we're talking literally thousands of them on screen. We want to be able to like get players walking down the streets and and seeing like hordes and hordes of enemies that they can just like drive through kill very easily but also have like the variety in the in the freak enemies so that you have like reaper freaks that have uh, an ability to pick up objects and throw them at a the player like really big freaks to fight against chase you across rooftops that kind of thing so you know that's like new for Crackdown 2 and something that's really exciting and the other thing as well is that you know it's a something that is turning uh, player progression agility orbs become that superhero you know that, that, that sense of empowerment in the game that we had you know, it's something that's really core to, to what we feel makes a great game is like really pull the player along give them a way of like progressing reward their progress in the game make them feel like they they really do belong to that superhero persona that they earn and uh, you know the agility orbs are like the crack and crackdown really addictive and then uh, you know one of the things we're adding with crackdown 2 is like the sense of uh, renegade orbs bit like agility orbs but you know as you approach them they actually zip away from you, you actually physically have to catch them so you know that's a, a nice little bit of fun that we're adding to the game nice mechanic there that, that people recognize but also something new and I think people are going to probably end up hating us for it but they're quite hard they're a lot of fun though Crackdown 2 uh, as a co-op game uh, it's completely open it's a, it's a freeform Sam got game and uh, you know, in the co-op game, very few people actually have a completely open co-op experience. But what we're doing is it's something that's, that's pretty unique. You know, we've got the same campaign game that's open, free form. You can approach from any order. So four players have that same experience. Four players can be in four different corners of the world, approaching four different missions at the same time. So they're all working towards a common objective of, of, of Project Sunburst, but they can be doing it in any in any order. They can also come together and play together and, and approach a mission at a time if they wanted. The key thing for us with Crackdown is that it's, it's about letting the players decide. The players have that power in the world to, to, to approach the game any way they want. The other angle of multiplayer is like the skirmish mode, you know. It's, it's an online game, it's very, it's very fast paced, it's, uh, you know, it, it's competitive, it, it's 16 players um, in, 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 in arenas where you're, you're, you're fighting off against each other. It's very vertical, 3D play space, you've got things like uh, kind of jump pads and things that launch you around the environment, you've got that kind of physical nature to the game. And it's a bit more like mini-game approach where you've got this kind of like skirmish gameplay, it's very fast turnaround on like kind of death and respawn, kill a lot of people, take a lot of deaths, very Twitch game, it's really really unique, it's this sense of like kind of your first person shooter but actually with like in a, in a, in a completely open world is really nice, you know, it's a um, yeah, jumping across on rooftops chasing your enemies, it's great fun. I kind of like the physical nature of Crackdown, I mean it was a very physical game it, and, and uh, you know it's about being over the top, creating massive explosions, watching car debris fly everywhere in the world, you know, that's something that we, we really wanted to retain in Crackdown. The whole game really is like this big mechanic of a playground and you've got lots of toys to play with, lots of things to blow up. And it's about bringing all those different things together in creative ways and, and for the player to just experiment, have fun. It's just like mindless, blow things up. A real, real good sense of like engagement where it's just like explorative, find out new things, new ways of doing things. Let's see what happens by accident, you know, things go off at random. And, and that's a really nice aspect of the game. It's about like the world as a real toy box. It's players having that emergent creative fun of, uh, of whatever they make of it. 
So uh, Crackdown 2 exclusively on Xbox 360. Uh, we're coming out in 2010 and I hope you really enjoy it.